I'm relaxing on my couch and suddenly my heart starts pounding like this. That was the beginning of a cascade of symptoms that started to occur and they got worse and worse and worse over the next four months. I had high blood pressure, I was gasping for air at night, my feet were swollen, my body was cold, my digestion was way off, I couldn't eat meat for six months, my brain wasn't working very well, I had chest pain, chest tightness, heart fluttering, esophageal spasm, I went to the urgent care twice, I went to the cardiologist twice, I had four EKGs, one of them showed a possible myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack. But my diet had been good for a couple decades. I knew it wasn't my diet. I knew it wasn't heart disease, but yet my symptoms were based around my heart. I had horrible chest pain right here. So I was looking for four months, how do I fix this? And then I went on some supplements that actually worked. They helped me feel better. And I had to figure out why those supplements worked. It turns out the recipes for the supplements were made in 1934 and they're still being manufactured today. So I had to go back to that era and I bought a whole bunch of old nutrition and medical textbooks. I started reading all these old books and I got it. And I, there was one paragraph in one article in one book in particular where I had an aha moment and it described the most common mechanism of chronic disease. Once I understood this, all of healthcare made sense. I'd been in hardcore holistic nutrition for 17 years at that point. And I was trying to figure out this puzzle known as health. And with this one piece of information, everything made sense. And that's the story on how I found lactic acidosis. All the doctors a hundred years ago talked about it all the time. It was forgotten after 1961 and I'm bringing it back. The definition of lactic acidosis is way different now than what it was in the 1930s. Back then it was more clinically applicable and is very helpful for people with chronic illness to understand this mechanism of chronic disease. Now in October of 2016, I found the cause of my problem and it was toxic black mold from my office. So there's the mechanism of chronic disease and there's various causes. And that's how I found the most common mechanism of chronic disease.